Good morning everyone, so we are today in a on Tuesday morning. Now, luckily I have today late shift and now at the morning I have a little bit of time. Just a little bit, just something like two hours, three hours. My kids are at school and I have a little bit of time to yeah, try to make two, three photos that I hopefully would like. So it's very cold today, as you could see. Uh, yesterday at night, as I, I, I finished my work, I knew actually, I knew that today will be like that because it was unbelievable, so cold. So today it's, I think, minus 10, something like that. And I am in a small village near the city which I live in called Dubernitz. It's a small village, but there's a small woodland area here I like, I like a lot. I come here every now and then in autumn, in foggy days like today, in, yeah, in spring. I like every now and then to come here and to try again and again to search for beautiful photos. And I think last year, uh, as I made two videos during the snow, I was also here in the same place. You are maybe asking yourself why I don't have my normal camera bag and why I don't have my main tripod. The reason is that from the title of, of the video, obviously I have only one lens today. No filters, no other lens. I have only one lens and obviously my Nikon D90 and I'm using a very small bag. So only the Nikon D90 and that lovely lens that I'm going to talk about. So now if you know me and you saw my old uh, videos, especially woodland videos, you know that I like to take a lot of woodland photos with the 50mm lens. I love this lens, I, I like to use it a lot, especially in woodland photography. Now the problem is that my old lens, the lens which I used, sorry, the lens which I used to use is the 50mm lens 1.8D. And anyone, anyone tried to use this lens already know that it's so bad at 1.8. It's not sharp at all. The problem is not with the ISO, for example. I, I became a lot of comments say you can raise up your ISO and you become sharper photos. I, I tried a lot of things and I searched in the internet. I, I saw a lot of reviews and I, I read a lot of comments saying that this lens is bad at 1.8. At the beginning, I thought that the problem is my lens. With my lens, my lens is broken, for example, or something like that. But after I saw a lot of reviews and I read a lot of comments, I was sure that the lens, this lens, the 1.8D is very very bad at not very bad but it's not sharp it's not sharp at 1.8 that that's why i was always using this lens at 2.8 i couldn't use it at 1.8 at all especially when i'm taking portraits for example sometimes i do portrait photography when i try to take it at 1.8 the photo is not sharp and the the, the face is not sharp at all Wh whatever i try the lens is not sharp at 1.8 and that's the reason that made me i want to change this lens so i think i think it's time i will stop talking i think it's time to talk about the lens my dream lens i really like i really like this lens a lot a lot i just want to say a, a small thing i was confused between this lens and the 85 1.8 the 85 millimeter 1.8 but i decided to get to get this lens the 50 millimeter lens because the 85 millimeter lens is a little bit has a little bit narrow field it's i think it's more like for street photography or for portrait photography i do portrait photography but not a lot i do more nature photography woodland photography and for woodland photography i prefer the standard lens the 50 millimeter lens but as I said, my old one was not sharp, was bad at 1.8. Now I have here the 50mm lens, but not 1.8G, but actually I got the 50mm lens 1.4G. This lens, as you can see, 
I like I, I, I love this lens a lot. I, I think my dream my dream was to get this lens for something like I, I think I really, I really think something like 10 years since the time when I started to love photography I started to be interested in photography I, I saw you know sample photos of this lens and I said oh man one day one day I, I want to get this lens and I'm really so happy to have it to be honest with you now I'm not going a lot to use the 1.4 but at least I have I have now the 1.8 with my old lens I couldn't use the 1.8 because it was not sharp at all at f1.8 now I have also the possibility to use f1.4 for example when I'm taking portrait or sometimes on woodland photography in days like today for example when you, there's a lot of light it's so bright it's so the ice is everywhere and it's so bright I think it's not a good idea to use 1.4 and you need a lot you, you need more you need more than 1.4 for example let's say 2.8 or something or 3.5 something like that to have more things in focus because and at the same time you need to have a very fast shutter speed if you want to use 1.4 because as I said everything is white and the scene is so bright and it's not easy to use 1.4 so so this is the first photo I want to try to take for this tree here as you can see the tree itself is so big and I like how there's nothing you can see nothing behind it there's more contrast on the tree because the background is white and yeah I will try to take this photo so my setting the shutter speed is so fast 1 1600 of the second I'm using uh, f2.8 and obviously 50 millimeter lens we'll try two things so the first, the first thing I will try to take one photo vertical like that for the tree and the second way I will try to be closer to the tree and I will try to use horizontal photo and make you know three or four photos panorama and measure them together I like to use this way when I when I when I when I'm for example sure that I will like the photo I like to, to use this method the reason is that when I'm taking only one photo the print the print if I want to print the photo the size of the print won't be big enough like if I'm taking for example three or four photos and merging merging them together let's say for example that taking only one photo would give me something like an A4 print but when you are taking three four photos together and you are you you are going to merge them you will have obviously a bigger print you have the ability to print your photo a lot bigger So now as I said I will try to make it like that. So the most important thing in taking photos like that you have to make sure that everything is manual. For example like white balance you don't need the photos to look different in color. So the white balance should be the same and the autofocus you have to take it off you have to make manual focus. You have I, I, what, what, what I do is that I put the, fat, the focus for example on manual I make sure that the focus is on, on the tree and after that I take it off so I start right now everything is manual the focus is manual the first photo second third one and this is the last one so as you can see I just shift my hand a little bit and I try to you know like 30 or, or 40 uh, percent from the first photo and the second photo to be similar because Photoshop if you are not having enough space between the first photo and the second photo Photoshop won't be able to merge them together So there's another photo I'm trying to take right here but the problem is that the tree is 
the tree is so close to another tree and the branches are touching each other from the both trees and I don't want I don't want to include the other tree as you can see there's a tree on the left hand side but I don't want to include it I want only this tree here I, I like the shape of it so I think I will try two things actually I will try to take the photo of the tree the whole tree itself if I fail that it won't work I will try to be closer to the tree and, and fill the frame with the branch of the tree So good morning everyone, today is the second day, we are today on Wednesday and the, the conditions are just more brilliant than yesterday. I'm today with my wife, actually she is making video and I just want to take one photo here because the, this way, here, this path is, is brilliant. The sun, as you can see, the sun is rising behind my wife and the conditions are really brilliant. Fog and frost everywhere and sunrise. So I just want to take very fast a photo right here, just show them the, this part here. So I tried the same method like yesterday, I took a horizontal photo, not a vertical photo, a horizontal photo and I tried to take something like four, five photos and I will merge them together and I will make like uh, I think something like 4x5 or yeah something like that, a photo 4x5 so thanks a lot again for watching consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video bye for now